paying for personal expenses from a business checking or credit card account. Well, that did sound familiar. So this video will show you how to handle that in QuickBooks Online. Well, uh, first of all, it's a good business practice not to mix uh, business and personal expenditures. Uh, the high IRS recommends opening a business uh, checking account as one of the first thing to do when you're starting a new business. Uh, in QuickBooks Online, your checking and credit card account should be uh, business only accounts. So, but you have certain uh, uh, personal expenses and you use a business account or credit card accounts. How to handle that? Okay, the first of all, you need to set up a, a equity type account in of accounts. I have a separate video for that, so you may want to check that out. Uh, how to set up uh, owner's equity and uh, or partner's equity in QuickBooks Online. So I have it right here, owner's equity, owner's equity, and then a sub account is owner's draws and owner's investments. And if you have partners, uh, you have two partners in this example, Jim and Pat, and partner equity. And then sub account is Jim, and under that there's another sub account for Jim's contributions, Jim's distribution, and whenever we have personal expenses that's used for uh, from your business account, so this is the one. This is the account you want to use. This one, in case of owners, in case of uh, a partners type, then you want to use a distribution account right here. Uh, distribution account. Okay, uh, so. This is your home page screen, and uh, uh, the first thing you want to do is, let's say, uh, you use company's debit card for your personal expenses. Let's say this is your ch uh, checking account. Let's use another one here, ch checking account. Okay, and uh, let's say you bought something from uh, uh, from PC repair guy in here and uh, account let's say it's a split type let's say do some equipment rental and uh, let's say total bill is two hundred dollars and you want to split it hundred dollars in here that's your business one and let's say hundred dollars is a personal one and so from the list you have to come down to equity type we'll see equity type in here right here equity and uh, this is for sole proprietorship owners draws right here. This is the one you want to select hundred dollars like this. So so this is two hundred dollars uh, and payment matter. Let's say it's a cash or check or credit card uh, or if it's a debit card, you can just select debit card in here. And the money comes out from a uh, business checking account, the Chase business checking account. Uh, so this is how you have to do it. So the moment you select this one, it won't hit your PL account, it will go to your equity account and it will show like a, a withdrawals from your equity account, maybe negative amount, debit amount. Uh, so so this is how you have to do it. Let's save this. Save and close. Okay, now if you go to your uh, register or chart of accounts, either way, you will see it in here. On the straws, the negative here. So right here, checking. Uh, you bought, uh, um, you did some PC repair and uh, uh, it's uh, it's your personal expense, one hundred dollars. That's right here. Okay, uh, and then uh, let's say you can do the same thing if it's uh, let's say the partner type. Let's say this time you use a credit card, company credit card. Let's uh, I don't have a company credit card here. We can open one. So the company credit card. It's a business type account type is the credit card right here. But not bank. Don't want to use bank. If you create, if you're using credit card, uh, don't want to use this one. Account type, it's credit card right here. It's your liability on your books. So let's say credit card, and uh, it happens to be let's say Chase credit card.
Okay. Um, so the, let's say this is the first time you're using it. Uh, and uh, let's say you went to, uh, again, you bought some computers again. Uh, okay. And let's say this time uh, it's a big amount. Uh, let's say the computer for your office. Let's say $500. And computer for your family. Let's say this is the one you want to select. Let's say this time we want to use the uh, uh, partner's equity account. Partner's equity. Let's say Jim is the one uh, who did the, uh, let's say right here, contributions. This, this is not contribution. This is distribution, taking money out from your business. Let's say $500. So total bill is one thousand. Seven close. Okay. Now if you go to the uh, chart accounts, you will see five hundred dollars negative right here. Five hundred dollars. Okay. So now, uh, so you, you you want to uh, Jim wants to reimburse that five hundred dollars to the company, and wrote a check to the company for five hundred dollars, and. Uh, uh, owner also did the same thing, $100. So how to handle that part now? Reimbursing the company now. This is the reimbursing the company part now. If you don't reimburse it, uh, then it's done. So it will stay as a negative in here, and uh, uh, it comes out from your profit basically. It will show negative in here, negative amount. Let's say you want to uh, reimburse to the company now. So plus sign here and select bank deposit. Right here, okay, and uh, so let's say you want to deposit to A checking, and uh, account you want to do the same thing. It's the same one. This time, this let's do this for the gym. Uh, contribute distributions here. Distribution five hundred dollars, uh, and in here you can put Jim's name if you want. Add new. Uh, in QuickBooks, they have only either customer or vendor or employee and in this case not employees not customer and so you have to end up selecting vendor so select as select uh, gmail vendor okay and payment amount is payment metric is let's say check and amount is five hundred dollars and if it's check number let's say one two three four is the check number Save a new. Okay, let's go to uh, let's do the same thing another one uh, for another account. Let's say select this one. So this one is a uh, uh, the one whose name is let's say Chris, not customer, solid vendor. Your, that, that, that's the choice one you have. Save and account you want to select is owners. Owners draws and let's say the amount is one hundred dollars. Payment measure is let's say let's check. Check number is let's say five six seven and one hundred. Okay, let's save and close. Okay, so now if you come to uh, chart of accounts and go to uh, if you go to uh, register, you will see it as you can see here. Uh, the balance is zero now. So if you click it here, view register, you will see in and out. See right here. It's one in and out. So the balance is zero. As you can see here, balance is zero. So started with uh, uh, zero here. This is the running balance. Okay, uh, so you use uh, $100 and refunded $100, so balance is zero. So let's go back to the other one. So this is the one, James uh, Distributions. Right here, it's zero, balance is zero. balance is zero, 500 in and out. So that's how you have to do it. And uh, same thing if you are using uh, uh, bank feeds, same thing. You just select the uh, uh, 
I don't have any transactions in here. Let's say uh, uh, fifteen dollars. Okay, let's say this is uh, uh, this happens to be a personal one, and uh, uh, let's do the other one, other account. They may have something in here. Okay, so there's some money here. Okay, so let's say this uh, Portek PC here, uh, it's personal one. So all I have to do is uh, select pay, and uh, so here's a Chris, it's a personal sole proprietorship, and then in here you select. Uh, uh, the uh, the equity one owners draw right here, and then add it. So this is especially if you are not entering it, if you're not entering it here or here, or uh, just uh, dealing with the bank feeds from the banking center. So that's how you do it. Uh, and uh, if you have already done it here, let's say I'll show you one. Uh, you will just match it. Okay, in QuickBooks, let's say this is the one we did. Uh, I want to undo this one, 144.59. Now it's back in here, back here, 144.59. And let's say you did uh, the manual entry, just like we did it last time. Manual entry. Okay, that's the one, I think. So the vendor is this guy, and the account you want to select is still the same. This one here, and the amount is 144.59. Save and close. Okay, as you can see here, you'll immediately see Matt's sign in here. So at this point, all they have to do is match. The reason you're seeing this green light is you have entered this manually in here. Just did it. So right here. Uh, so you have entered already entered this. Uh, so you don't want to re-enter it here. You just want to match it. Match is just matching it. It won't uh, uh, post it again. You won't duplicate your transaction. Uh, so add means you don't have any manual. Transaction enter, or it's not, it's not uh, uh, matching it with the same amount or vendor information. So, so just match it, and then it will disappear. So this is how you have to do it. And you can see here, it's just matching it. See right here, it's match it, already matched it. Uh, so that's how you have to do it. So that deals with uh, uh, the business using uh, paying for personal expenses from a business checking. Or credit card account. So if it's a credit card account, basically the same thing. You select the credit card account in here, Chase credit card like this, and uh, the other stuff is still the same, same, same way you handled it. Just select uh, your uh, owners draw. If it's a owners type business, sole proprietorship. If it's a partnership, just select a uh, uh, distribution account. Uh, and uh, that's how you have to do it. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to our, our YouTube channels. And also like us on Facebook. Thank you.